What's up guys, Erroneous here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video, We're running into Live Arena for you today. Quick update on the Tavern Champions. We've got our Supreme Aethel. She is finally done with Masteries, pretty much. I only have basically one Mastery left to go, but it would either be Spirit Haste, Sniper, or Master Hexer, and doesn't even really matter. I guess I can make her faster for each dead ally, but not the end of the world right now for me. I got what I needed, which is Helm Smasher, to see if she can do a little bit more damage. Of course, she's not that great of a champ. <laughs> I mean, she's okay. So this one here, attacks all enemies before attacking, 100% chance of placing a freeze. Will ignore strengthen ally protection, unkillable, as well as 20% of the target's defense. What I noticed though, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like she hits twice with this ability. Almost feels like she hits twice, but reality is she's trying to place the freeze, I think. But I don't know. I don't know if I saw a glitch earlier today when I was trying her in Classic Arena, where she I aimed into a Mithrala, and she killed the Mithrala, and then she attacked everybody else afterwards. It was really, really weird. Let me see if I can show you a quick interaction with that. Uh, let's try... Of course, obviously, you know, with people with tankier teams, she's going to not be so great against. And putting her in the lead is definitely helpful. Probably need to help her with buff strip. Definitely need to bring someone like an Armand's um, to help CC the enemies as well as a buff stripper. So let's see if this can work. I do have her in stone skin one turn. So basically, yeah. So, I mean, everybody has no stone skin, which is a surprise to me. So I go ahead with the weekends so we can do more damage. There's no polymorph, which is helpful for us. So increase accuracy. We should be able to stun everybody. And then just a one. And then hopefully with the increase in damage, if she hits a Helm Smasher proc, that'd be pretty sick. Let's just go to a times one. Boop. She puts the shield, increase accuracy, increase crit rate, increase attack. So let's see. I mean, obviously this ability, she's not fully booked, so... We'll see what happens. Let's target the Pytheon. Boom. Yeah, so see that? She did do one hit, right? So she attacked the Mithrala. I don't remember how much damage that was, like 90,000. And then she attacked everybody else. It was kind of, it's kind of interesting. I don't really understand it. Maybe because she doesn't have a freeze, so she's not attacking everybody at once. But the damage is... Eh, I mean, definitely need to have more, definitely need to have more of the uh, masteries, or rather books in her. Masteries are done. So let's take a look at this team here. There's some stone skin. Of course, on a cardinal, there's going to be stone skin. Yes, I'm going to hop into live arena in a moment. But let's just try this really quickly. I'm probably going to go ahead and place the sheep on her so she doesn't just instantly revive. Let's go ahead and do this again, and let's aim it on the sheep. I wonder if there's double hits. Yeah, so 94, 126, but that's, you know, that's on a seer, so it's like, it's not really a super tanky team, and yeah, it's okay damage. It's not great. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. It's also, I got pretty damn good gear on her. You know, it's end game gear, so it's not like I put her in garbage gear. Let's go ahead and hit a refresh really quick. I, I want to go against a tanky team. Let's go against a team like this with Rodos. Now, obviously, with Rodos, you'd want to do double hits. There's no polymorph here as well, which is helpful. So let's see. Now, I do like the fact that I can throw her in polymorph myself. It is helpful. This guy's way faster than me, by the way. Damn. Although his Rodos is very slow. So let's see. Boom. Place the weak in. We can go ahead and do this with a stun, but Rodos does have a strengthen on. Oh wow, big damage to the Rodos there. We should be able to one-shot the Rodos now. And let's see if we can one-shot this chick with here, the crown. So here we go. Boom. No. So 97k. The freeze definitely mitigates a lot of damage. But the freeze is also pretty insane. Because of the increased accuracy she places on herself. And I have 350 accuracy, so increase accuracy by 50% is helpful. Although you got to make sure you can actually take them out, right? 
Interesting champion. Definitely not the best. It'd be tougher against a team like this. Oh, they're faster than because I have the increased attack by 35% for the lead. So got to keep that in mind as well. Let's put our speed lead in. So she would lose a ton of attack, right? So she'll lose a lot of damage here for me going faster. Let's see if we can do one more here. Place the weakens. Let's go ahead and sheep, or not sheep, stun. Turn back his turn meter. Here we go. Let's see if we can one shot here. No, we can. We killed everybody else, but not the Marichka. So, I mean, kind of stinks there. It's not very good. Now we can stun when they come back to, to life here. Boom. Do this. Increase our attack again. I mean, she's decent. I wouldn't say she's insane. 102k damage, but she has increased attack as well. It's alright. It's also a Nishak, so he has no HP and no defense, so keep that in mind. The damage is not crazy. That's all I can say. So we'll let him speed up. We can just steal his turn meter because we're just kind of messing around here. Let's do this. And then they're going to come back to life again. Okay. Take her out now. Do the turn meter drop. And because I don't have her fully booked, she isn't able to get her back around to her abilities, her AoE very fast. That's another problem. You don't have her AoE back. You know, that's a big issue. 121k I saw there at the end. No freeze. So the freeze would have made her do less damage. I mean, she's she's okay. She's not really that great. I'm not a huge fan of her still. She's kind of niche. I mean, I'll try her out in today's video here and there with the Helm Smasher, but... 120,000 damage. I mean, she needs books. She definitely needs books. And I don't know. Do I want to waste the books on her? Would it be considered a waste? Or should I put the books into Hefrak instead? Maybe utilize him more? Because he does have a four star. I also checked my shop and the marketplace does have a three star soul for Supreme Aethel. And I have about 390 essence so I can get her if I want. I think it's 120 for her. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. He's going with the speed. Let's steal the Wukong. Let's go with Marichka. So I've got damage here. Got Marichka. I do sort of have speed, but it's not as crazy as his speed right now. And if he has Sifi, that's a big problem. I wonder if he also has... Ooh, Leorius. Hmm... This could be a problem. Maybe as of right now, I ban the Leorius. I might consider just throwing in Tormund. Hmm. Do I go bombs as well? If I do this, I'll only have one damage deal. I mean, one support champion rather. Hmm. I think I might have to ban Leo. If I ban Leo... Does he, does he ban my Marichka? Probably. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's see if he can't decide on banning damage dealer versus other. All right. So Marius is definitely a problem too. I think I'm still going to ban Leo. 28% speed aura. So I might have a chance. I don't know. He kind of kept my... Armands, if the Marius cannot strip the stone skin, then maybe we get lucky. We get a dubski here, but he has actually three chances to strip. Now that I think about it, he's going to swap forms and try to strip the stone skin. Plus he'll give increased accuracy to Marius, but Marius self buffs himself anyways. So increased accuracy. Oh, he did the wrong move. Oh wait, nope. He got me. Wait, he refreshed? Wait, what? What? 
What just happened? Eh. All right, well, let's do this. That was weird. Stuns. Sheep. And I should be able to one-shot. And it should be over. I don't know why he refreshed. Did he think he was so fast he was going to lap me? Wrong thought process there, bud. Why don't you go and do what your name says now? <laughs> Such a weird name. <sighs> it's like a five-year-old mentality of a name. It's like the name that you put when you're legitimately five. You're like, yeah, such a sick name, dude. So cool. I'm going to tell all my friends. Armands. Okay. Let's go speed. Let's go with our boy Wukong. Make myself a little bit smaller here. There we go. Okay. So what does Rhino got going on? Okay, of course. I can try to lock out with Alika. Um, I mean, there's no polymorph other than Armands, and I'm going to ban Armands anyways. Hmm. I have a feeling if I go with the stuns here with Makage, he's just going to go with Marius. I just pretty much everybody I face up here has a Marius at this point. Or I could consider going Marichka. The issue is Narciss hard counters Marichka. Hard counters. Who else do I have stone skin? I mean, I do have my boy Sammy in stone skin. I'm not really sure what I want to do here. I guess I'm just going to stick with the Marius. I mean, the um, Marichka. Maybe I'll go bombs. Yeah, let's go bombs. Let's go bombs. I've got stone skin, Nishak, stone skin, Marichka. He's got Arbeus as well. Ooh. Arbeus is a problem. I don't know if I'm going to be able to freeze. Let's try out our girl. Let's try out our girl. Ban our mons. Try out Supreme Aethel here. Well, he gave me the speed. He banned Nishak. Okay. Unless he's faster with Arbeus, which he definitely could be. Most people just put her in the fastest gear on their account. To be honest. Speed ourselves up. I mean, we can just one shot. Right? Even if he revives his Narciss, I can take a turn with my my Supreme Aethel. So I don't think she's going to do it. I don't think so. I think she's going to save it. But I could be wrong. Nope, he did it. Alright, well. Does he have... Uh, no Polymorph. Okay. See if we can kill him. Not even close, dude. Oh my god, she's so bad! She's so bad. <sighs> Can't even kill a narcissist, dude. Like, my lord. My lord. That's why she's so bad. Either way, let's go here. Come on. We got this. Take him out again. I mean, she shouldn't have the revive again. What? What? Oh my god. Can't even kill with the A1 and a weaken. And a weaken. Jesus. Oh yeah, that's right. Ally attacks doesn't work on him. I always forget that. It's so annoying. Okay. Weak hit. Bad matchup. How does he keep getting the same ability again and again? Is he in like refresh gear? Wow. I just lost. That just goes to show how freaking trash Supreme Alhain is. I don't even think the books matter for the ability for the A1. Like, you can't. Oh my 
God, she's so bad. Sun Wukong is so much better. <sighs> if I use Samson, I would have won. Samson's better than her. She does no damage. Her A1 is so bad. Phoenix is better than her. He's an epic champion. Epic champion. So freaking bad. I'm done with her. I'm done. Not even going to waste my books on her. I've already made my decision. She's so bad, dude. Like, if, if she can't even do, like, 80k damage with a weaken on an A1 as an attack-based champion with increased attack. I mean, come on. That's pathetic. That is legitimately pathetic. Void Legendary Champion. It takes years and years to get Void Legendaries unless you spend a lot of money into the game. And when that happens, it just makes you not even want to care about that Legendary, that Void, especially if it's a Void Legendary. It's like, who cares at that point? My lord. Probably just going to ban Marichka, right? Ah. I don't know if Pytheon has gear on. Pytheon doesn't have gear, I think. Oh no. I guess I could go like this. Oh boy. You know what? No, let's just go with uh let's go with Tormund. Let's go with Tormund. I assume he's gonna have intercept on him, but on like his knee shack at the very least. Interesting, he does have Nishak in a PvE build with a Brimstone. I would prefer to put him in... Oh, nice, he's going with Hegemon. Damn. That's fine. I guess I will go with Pytheon. I don't think I have gear on him because I've been doing Curse City. And I think I swapped out pieces of gear from my Pytheon. I knew he was going to do that. I knew he was going to ban Marichka because of bombs. He probably has a faster champion in Shuzen than I do for my Arbiter, which means I'm likely going to lose unless I resist. Yeah, the stone skin and everything's gone off of him. Oh, Jesus. Which means I lose on resistance and everything else that comes with it. No intercept on him, though. He's going to instant turn into Nishak. Or he's going to instant turn into... No. Hmm. Okay, got the bomb though. That's the bad part. Hey, so I did survive, which is good. So I should win. Hey, let's go. Yeah, Pytheon's missing gear. Okay, let me uh go over here to Pytheon. Oh, I swapped his gear because I used him in Curse City for what was it? Uh. I used him for stage 9 Sand Devil. That's why. Let me go ahead and put his gear back on. There we go. We want immunity as well as one turn stone skin. Because then the bombs wouldn't have landed on him at all. Yeah, 559 resistance as well. Even after the immunity drops off. We still have room for growth with these pieces here. Speed here. Speed here. Resistance here. Speed and res. Uh, speed here as well. Res is fine. I'm, I can get a glyph for speed. So yeah, we can get tons of more speed here. And then HP is what I want to swap this into. This is attack. I rerolled it trying to hoping for HP with HP, but I got attack flat with triple flat defense. Craziness. That's such a terrible reroll. And the only other one I have would be this one. I lose almost 200 defense but honestly this one would probably be better once i upgrade it and i'll put a five star back on him instead of this six star potentially but either way let's hop back into the battles here man 28 million player power yeah supreme aethel is just so bad i just extremely niche just not strong enough doesn't hit hard enough it's just, I don't know. I was really hoping that she would work out and maybe I would build her and she would change my mind. But you need to put 
books into your champions to get any additional damage. But it's just like, if she's already hitting so weak, why would I put books into her when I have so many other damage dealers that can do more damage and I could put books into them and utilize them more often and they'd be more effective on their own as compared to her. Plus, she's susceptible to more uh, polymorph as well. So it's like, why would I want to use her nearly as much as my other champs? You need champions that'll be able to one-shot people or be so unique that they can keep people down or keep coming back to life like Sun Wukong, for example, you know, so it's just he's just so much more unique as well and hits way more damage on his A2 that 200,000 damage and then splash damage to everybody else. He's basically Baron except a uh, OP Baron. He's even better than Baron. Like, that's crazy. And Baron's a void legendary that I have too, but he's just not strong enough unless he's got like six star cracking roots and uses his best ability which is very difficult to do. So, anywho's, let me see. So, Sifi, Harima, the typical team. He's probably got Marius as well, I assume. I'm going to go like this. He's probably going to throw a Marius, which is what's going to suck. If he has Marius, this fight's over. All right. What you got going on? No Marius. Okay, that's good. So, I can probably throw in Hefrak. Well, Hefrak's going to be severely hampered by Harima. I guess I'll go Quintus. Does he ban Quintus? I don't think so. Or does he ban Sun Wukong? I assume he's going to ban Speed, but he could end up banning one of my damage dealers too. I have seen people do that quite often, where they try to hamper your damage. But let's see. Nope, he banned my Speed. Okay. That does make sense. I do have stone skin on my uh, Mikage now, so stone skin Mikage is helpful. I'm trying to get my Quintus into stone skin one turn next. That's going to be a little bit difficult now that they buffed the Hydra. Kind of frustrating. Oh, and of course he's in full protection set. That's cool. Um... I think I'm going to, I can't really tell if my champs are faster than this. Let's see if I can just take her out. Nice. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Quintus team up, dude. Quintus team up, baby. Let's go. I can still win this. It's possible. It is possible. Um, oh, baby, Quintus team up for the win. Let's go. Damn, Quintus just went nuts. Yeah, Quintus is better than Supreme Aethel. So much better. The potential quad hit on the A1 with Quintus is so insane against Rodos. Just a double hit with him. He hits so hard. Crazy. His A1 is, is his bread and butter. His AoE is pretty good too, but his A1 is what makes him so strong. His A2 also, now that I think about it, if there's no UDK on the floor. Alright, so this is the third time in a row that we're going second. Let's see if we can keep winning. Harima, Sifi, that's all I see up here now. That's literally all I see. Harima, Sifi, Armands, and Marius. That's it. That's all you see. So we're going to go with Marichka. I'm going to go with Quintus again. The same team that I beat the other team with. I wonder if he's going to have a very similar team to the last player. We're going to find out in a second here. Here we go. Please no Marius. Please. Okay. Very similar to the last team, except he has Duchess instead of Ancora. So Duchess is going to help with damage mitigation on top of the Harima. His only damage, well, I mean, his Harima is going to be damaged too, but Rodos, I guess I don't have to worry too much about him. If I can get lucky again, does he ban my Quintus or does he ban 
He banned my Makage. Wow. So that means he's going to be faster. Was he just a little bit afraid of the five star? Maybe that's why. Five star temporal. Oh, damn. He's got triple stone skin. Okay. Nice. I stole stone skin there, which is beautiful. He's going to sleep me, though, here. He's going to sleep my Quintus. Makes sense. Makes sense. <sighs> okay. That sucks. I can't one shot. That's the issue. Not when he has. Oh, of course. Provoked. Extra turn. He's going to try to break through the stone skin. Nope, not quite. Let's see if we can weaken her. Oh, one shot her. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. He can now do the ability to speed up again, right? Or no? Yes, he can. Okay. Um, let's go for her. Big damage. It's over. Jeez, this is why Sun Wukong is so freaking nuts. Sun Wukong is nuts, dude. Absolutely nuts. I guess that's fine. I mean, everybody will come back to life. He has... Less than half health. Okay, he, he does the mastery where he can uh, restore HP. But we should be able to beat him with... Oh, no! That's fine. We can do the A1. I was, I'm was i glad he didn't get a crit there. Alright, same exact team. Pretty much the exact same team as the other one. Sifi, Harima, Rodos. Sifi, Harima, and Rodos. Yeah. The only difference was Ancora versus the Duchess. So we're doing okay though. Holding our own. Guy had a decent team. Where are we at in the leaderboards? 4260. It's because we haven't played in the last 24 hours. Fell asleep early yesterday. Got home from work. Took care of a couple of emails. Went to bed at like 8, 830. Woke up at like 10. Did a little bit of raid and then fell back to sleep. And that was it. Quite the night. And then I went to work today, so it was a busy day. Today's Saturday. I'm still in my work attire. <laughs> Haven't got out of it. I'm doing the 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. EST time slot. Uh, let's see. Another one. This is like my fourth time in a row of going second. This is crazy. I'm holding my own, though. I'm holding my own against going second against people that pick Armand because I've got a team right now picked out for these stupid Sifi Harimas. All right. So we've got, uh, oh, let's see. Did I already face this guy? No, I definitely didn't. Cause the Sancora has a polymorph. There's no way he has accuracy on this Ancora though. No way. You'd have to put accuracy for a five star. Um, does he throw in Marius or does he throw something else in? He would have to throw in like someone to cleanse. I mean, he could throw in UDK as well. I could throw in UDK now that I think about it. Yeah, let's throw in UDK. Let's go UDK. No Makage this time. Does he throw in Makage? No, he doesn't. Fine, we're going to go ahead with our Quintus ban here. He's going to ban my speed or he's going to ban Sun Wukong. Probably one of these two. I mean, he could ban Marichka too, but I feel like he's going to ban speed or Sun Wukong. And for me, I mean, he does have lockout. Yep, he bans speed, so he's going to probably go first because of Crixia. Crixia is going to go first. Unless, unless my Sun Wukong is faster than his Crixia, which I highly doubt it, I'm going to get locked out, and then all I can do is A1s. Yeah, I don't know if I can win this. Um, Basically, I'd have to get lucky here. Nice stun. Can I stun here? 
no stun. Okay. And she removed my stone skin on my Marichka. He can only hit twice, and then he'll lose... Uh, I'm not going to do enough damage. The strength and kills it. No increase attack. Hmm. I mean, he can one shot. Yeah. The only person he couldn't kill was my Marichka. Extra turn. He revives. Everybody gets nuked. Yeah. GG. Okay. Big boy team right there. Big boy team. Let's go again. I guess my UDK was pointless there, honestly. UDK has fallen off a bit, I feel like. Because you kind of need to rebuild him in full damage now. Or else he's just kind of a meat shield and he doesn't do anything. Or you need to put him in, like, Frost Set or Frost Bite. It's a two-piece set to help freeze people. I guess I could try that out. I am going first this time, which is nice. All right, let's see what this guy's got. He's got a Makage with Wukong. So he is giving me a lot of speed here. He's also got a lot of Polymorph too. So he's trying to fight off the, the ward off the bombs here. I'm just going to do this and see what he does for the next two. I'm going to go all support first. And then see if... He throws in Nishak. I wonder if he does Nishak. I'm also getting really close now to gold four, which honestly, I don't really want to get there. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Gold four is going to be way too difficult. Once you get to gold four, you can literally face the top player in the game. Okay, this is interesting. So Freya, he did the Freya deck of fate and... He did the five star for Freya as well. Interesting. Got Hefrak as well. Freya is really good paired with Sun Wukong. And also additionally good with uh, UDK. I might honestly ban the Sun Wukong. I'll be honest. And I think I might go for the Nishak. Does he throw in a Mithrala? I'm going to go Nishak, and I think, I mean, this is interesting. I could go for her, but she just doesn't do enough. I'll be honest with you. He has double red affinity. So I could go with Sammy. Two red affinity, one blue affinity. Maybe I just ban the Hefrak, actually. Yeah, I'm banning the Hefrak instead of the Sun Wukong. The reason being is because... If I kill Sun Wukong, the Hefrak can counterattack. Whereas in in this case, no Hefrak, no counters. Maybe Freya helps him out, and maybe he gets an instant turn with the Wukong. But oh wow, he's faster than me! Damn, he's gonna kill the Arbiter. Wow. But unfortunately. Freya, oh wow, high res Freya. Very, very high resistance. Does she also cleanse? Okay, well, she can't revive the Wukong, right? That's right, the Samsung's going to go through Freya's passive. Okay. Let's just keep taking out the Wukong, I guess. Oh, really, dude? Seriously? I got the stun. That's the biggest issue with Samson. Oh, no. And we come back to life here. It's going to one-shot. Kill him again. Decrease my cooldown. Oh! Oh, no. He's going to kill me. Dang, dude. Good good stuff. Good stuff. Alright. Not bad showcase of Freya there, huh?
I did get frozen a lot, and I got sheeped twice. That sucks. <sighs> I thought I had my Samsung's accuracy as low as possible, but he's at around 190, 100 to 200 accuracy. So, yeah, it does hurt himself. That's the sad part about Samson is that he gets sheeped a lot. All right, so, oh, nice. He's going instantly with Marichka and Sifi. He probably has Harima. Likely these two do not have any accuracy, so I could care less about their polymorph. I need to keep them dead, so we're going to go Foley. He went with Mikage. I think I might need to speed up again. Actually, let's just go Nishak. Let's go Nishak, make him ban the Nishak. Make him ban the Nishak. See what he does for damage. Harima. Let's ban Harima. He didn't ban the Nishak. If he's faster than me, I'm probably going to lose. GG's. It's over. Oh, we cut in? Couldn't steal his... I couldn't steal any of his buffs or nothing. No stone skin steal. I did steal increased defense, actually, from somebody. I stole it from... Georgian. Yeah, this is over. GG's. Um, yeah, it's GG's. I can't do anything. I won't be able to place bombs or nothing. Wow, and just like that. Three wins and then three losses, huh? Super quick. We'll be right back. All right, we're back in it. Let's do it. Let's hope for a win here. Not get absolutely pwned by all these Harima Sifis. Janel, Janel Joan. So... Let's do this. Thor. He actually does hit really hard. Do I want to go with speed again? Maybe I'll just do this for now. But does he have Marius? Oh. Yasu? Or I think that's his name. Ostrid. He's going to try to go as fast as possible. I think I'm going to go with... Duchess? No, let's go with Marichka. Ban the Armands. He's banning my bombs. Interesting. I feel like everybody just bans bombs now. And that's it. It's like maybe they're just testing their luck or something. Okay. There goes all the stone skin. And this is why Sun Wukong is so nasty. Although Yasu does... Ooh, he has a block revive. I forgot about that. I forgot. I don't think I can win. Can I win this? I don't know. Hmm. I might be able to win this still. With a bunch of supports. <laughs> That's crazy. I might actually beat him with just supports. Speed up. Oh my lord. Yeah, I'm going to beat him with just supports, guys. <laughs> Damn. Damn. He thought he was going to beat me just because he has Yasu? Psych. That's the wrong number. Damn, dude. I hate losing against all supports. It's the worst feeling. 
All right, good fight. That sucks. That's a feels bad moment, man. Winning with all supports like that. I've had it happen to me plenty of times. Plenty of times. Treebeard. Oh, this guy's on Call Red's uh, clan. Call Red raids. Let's see if I can beat one of Call Red's clan members. Oh, yikes. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Odin and Arbiter with six stars and five star right, right off the bat, huh? Damn. Let's do this. I mean, Odin's got really good accuracy. Oh my lord. This guy's got a disgusting account. Do I bring in? Huh. I wonder if he's going to have like, he's going to block my, my skills. What's I ban here? He's probably going to bring in like a, a Yumeko or something. If he has nasty champs like this, he probably has Yumeko. I could bring in a Tormund and instead of my... Well, he could just ban my Marichka. Oh, man. I kind of need this, though. Maybe I can just go with speed. I wonder if I can beat him with speed. He probably has another speed champion that he's going to do then. Instead of Yumeko... This guy's got a cracked account. Of course, it's Harima. I mean, this guy's already fast as it is. My issue is, like, I can use Quintus to kill one of these two. I think I gotta ban Odin. He's gonna beat me in speed regardless, so... I don't know. I don't know how to beat that. I just need more champions with speed. That's the reality. I need a lot more champions with high speed. Oh, his Lazarius, Le Leorius, Lazarius, Lazarius is fast. Holy crap. Damn. Well, I can do this. Steel turn meter. I could try to one shot. I don't have the increased attack though, so we'll steal that for now. He can one shot if he wants, or he can try. Okay, he didn't one shot, but he's gonna kill me and lock me out. No? Okay. Let's take out his revive. Let's do this. Terminator steal. Go like this. Take her out. He can speed up. Oh, damn. He has his double double move. Decrease my turn meter. Oh, no. Okay, GG's. I think he's going to win. Unless I can somehow get lucky here in one shot. Oh. Marichka is stacked. Okay. Um, let's just do this. Let's do this. He's going to take a turn. He's going to keep trying to keep my Sun Wukong at bay. Yeah, it just makes sense, you know? I mean, why wouldn't he, right? Let's just do this. And let's do the A1. He's still taking a turn with his Lazarius. He's got to be like 400 plus speed. Lazarius is going nuts. Does he try to transform? No. Wow, and he places veils. Perfect veils. Can I take a turn before him? Hey. Hey. Nice. Freaking amazing. GG's. Let's go. Call Red, get your boy. Get your boy. All right. GG's. Uh, that felt good at the last one there. Beating up a Kraken. I like the feeling. It feels good. 
How many did we win, by the way? I don't know. What did we end up with? Battle log. One, two, three, four, five, six wins. Four losses. Okay, we still won 60%. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. Not too shabby. That was a good fight. I like those types of fights. Not bad. Not bad. Seven more wins for the next chest to get garbage. And mission-wise, I'm at 31 out of 80. I've been stuck on this mission for two weeks straight. One of the most frustrating missions in the entire game. The most annoying stall mission ever. I literally did... I put in, into the Void Iron Twins, 12 runs. So 150 gems spent. Not a single essence from 12 runs. It was all freaking whatever this is. Mortal Soul Coins. That's it. So terrible. Yeah, this was in the shop. I'm like, ah, oh, should I buy it? Nah, not even going to waste my time on it. Not even going to waste my time on that. I'd rather get this one, this four star rain beast. All right, y'all. Anyways, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on a video soon. Take care.